Hi, my name is Philippe Ducham, senior producer on Dead Space. Today, I'm here to give you a first look at one of my favorite sections in the game. So we find ourselves here in the Ishimura's hangar at the beginning of chapter three. We're going to make our way towards the control room in engineering, where we'll attempt to restart the ship's engine. For those of you who remember the original, the hangar was much smaller than it is now. We get to explore this location and literally fly through it before heading to our destination. Navigating between chapters without load screens or having a camera cutaway is part of how we've reimagined the Ishimura for the remake. We don't need to rely on the tram as the sole way to get between chapters. It is now a seamless, interconnected ship. Entering vacuum. We've got two lurkers here. You can quickly get rid of them with the pulse rifle or Isaac's trusty plasma cutter. There aren't many traditional firearms on board. To survive, you may have to improvise and choose how to take each necromorph down. We're now entering the ship. We have a lot to show you, so let's skip ahead to chapter three. We've just received a briefing to head over to the refueling station. To get there, we're passing through the machine shop over here. If you needed to backtrack or simply wanted to explore the ship further, you may encounter a completely different experience. Different enemies, the ambience and lighting may change. This is what we call the intensity director. It keeps the Ishimura unpredictable and brings some additional tension and challenge. The way to the refueling station is just a little further ahead. As you can see, some memorable moments are authentic to the original. We've added tons of graphical enhancement that support strategic dismemberment. Using Kinesis, we'll bring that gondola over and make our way to the south refueling station. We need to gain access to the fuel management office, which contains the power functions for the refueling station. We can follow that cable to find our way there. One of the things we tried to achieve was to add more context to the various objectives, to expand on what was there and bring a bit more detail and depth where we could. The refueling station has no power. We can look for a way to access the fuel management office. This card should allow us in, and we can now make our way back. Isaac, Hammond. Daniels, you made it. Thank God. After the bridge, we thought the- Glad to disappoint. I barricaded myself in the computer core. I can hear them, but I don't think they know I'm here. Isaac, I tracked down your rig. You're an engineer, right? I'll get myself admin privileges. Maybe I can help. Now that we have access to this room, we're faced with a very tough choice. We could cut power to life support and rely on air canisters for oxygen, but today we'll play the section without lights instead.
With the power restored, the South refueling station can now be activated. In the decontamination room, using new tech, we've cranked up the tension. Dynamic smoke creates that thick and opaque atmosphere that makes you lose track of the lurkers, even when they're right next to you. It adds to the claustrophobia, the feeling of being locked in with a pack of necromorphs. Our last stop is the centrifuge. It's offline, and the Ishimura is getting dragged down to the planet below. We've added so much detail in here. Particle effects, lighting, floating debris. We wanted this room to be imposing and tell a story at the same time. It's a lot more impressive, and its size makes it harder to keep track of the incoming necromorphs. So audio plays a huge role here in identifying the direction of threats. With one of the generator modules back in place, we can head to the second one. Flying in zero-g and not being anchored to the surface makes spatial awareness extremely important. Combat encounters can quickly become deadly, especially with leapers. And now, with the generator modules powered up, the centrifuge is ready to be activated. Generator module attached. Clutch engaged. All personnel, clear for centrifuge restart. I hope you enjoyed this sneak peek at the new Dead Space. Thank you for tuning in. USG Ishimura, this is the emergency maintenance team of the USG Kellyan responding to your distress call. Isaac Clark. What have you got, Isaac? That's the Ishimura's in the red. Engines, hull, the tramps. Can you handle it alone? Fix the centrifuge. Get the fuel running. This is Senior Medical Officer Nicole Brennan. Medical is overwhelmed. We need help. will be made for this decline with or without you. I think it's me. It's all falling apart here. I can't believe what's happening. Nicole? 